Welcome all. Here we are. And what we're doing here, we're gonna build us a dining room table. All right, so here I am using my Craig jig, uh, drilling with my father's drill, and we're just making the Craig holes, and trying to figure out the best way to do this. Actually, this is my first big time project that I'm building. What I'm trying to do now is just position the wood the best place possible so the Craig jig won't move and mess up the Craig hole. All right, so here we are. Um, what we have done so far is drill all the pilot holes uh, with, the, with the Craig jig. All right, we're gonna get a close up on those, okay? So what's gonna happen is that uh, these screws also are Craig screws. Uh, uh, they were about uh, $3.50 for a package of 50, uh, two inch uh, screws. So what's gonna happen are these uh, Craig screws are gonna go into the Craig hole and pull the boards together, okay? So what we did was we drilled holes on each side. So essentially, that's how they will fall into place. So what we're about to do now is apply this Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner to the dining room table using just a very inexpensive uh, paintbrush. As you can see, stroking it on there. And what this is supposed to do is condition the wood so that once it's stained, it doesn't give blotch spots or any type of patches of heavier stain in certain areas and less stain in others. This Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner is amazing. I would recommend you using this on anything that you are trying to stain. It does wonders. This is the right hand side here where it's not been treated, just sanded. And then I'm going to show you, of course, how it looks with the precondition, uh, with the pretreatment. And as you can see, it's coming out very nice. It's showing that nice deep wood color. It's bringing out the character is what I like to call in the wood. So I got all of the wood pre-treated and now this is the first coat of the Minwax Espresso stain. Now, mind you, I didn't mix, I didn't stir, I didn't shake any of the stain and it came out this color here now as you can see it spotted up the side pieces so when you're staining you definitely want to move your other pieces or if you're building any other projects away from where you are staining if you are using a paintbrush because it will splatter on any and everything moving right along this is the main part of the table the two wings there 
are not stained yet, but they are pre-treated with the Minwax preconditioner. I love this color, but it's not gonna match our kitchen. So we have to do a couple more coats. All right, so here are the wings and the main dining room table, all stained with its first coat. It looks like a cherry honey oak color now, uh, because like I said, I did not mix, stir, or shake any of the stain. I just put my paintbrush in and started staining the wood. All right, uh, it came out this color and it is a beautiful color, but not the color that we want in our kitchen. So I'm gonna move ahead to the next coat and the next coat. It's a long dining table um, and that's what we're going with. And uh, once it's finished, I'll show you the finished project. Um, but like I said, we got a lot done today. I did a lot of sanding on this table. I sanded the sides, of course I sanded the top, um, and got a really good sand on there. And then of course I pre-treated it with the wood conditioner, which is uh, made by Minwex. Okay, it's the pre-stain, it did beautifully. I mean, as you can see, um, not a lot of blotches. I mean, it just went on beautifully. So my stepmom just came in and did the third coat of the espresso stain, uh, the gloss stain, and now it's finally starting to get that espresso look. As you can see, it's really glossy, which looks really nice, and it's finally that color that's going to match our cabinets in the place. Um, so what she did was she shook it up a little bit and stirred it and it came out a little bit better than the honey oak and the cherry that you seen earlier in those videos. So now you can see um, the texture is really nice, um, smooth. We're going to sand it one more time because as you can see it has a little bit more of a texture down here than we would like. Um, so what we're going to do Let's do another coat and it's going to come out really nice. But this is the dark color um, of that espresso. So as you can see, it's starting to look really good. Yeah, it looks good. It's starting to look really good in the color that we originally set out for. It's come out, which is nice. Um, and yeah. So this is the dining room table, almost finished and complete. We're going to let it sit and dry. Um, we also got a lot going on outside, so I'll walk you through. I never showed you the name of the espresso paint, um, which, let's see here, that one is all covered with paint now. So let me see if I have the other one up here. Yeah. So this is the espresso paint. This is also Min Wax, which we used the pre stain for, and then the same brand uh, for the uh, stain. Um, so this has the stain and the uh, polyurethane, um, and that is Espresso Gloss. I believe each one, I want to say, I want to say maybe like 11 bucks or something like that for each one. And it's just a quart, uh, one quart. Uh, for this whole table, it took about one quart. Uh, we only did the top side and the side. We haven't done the bottom, but as you can see in the can, uh, let me see if you can kind of tell how much is in there. As you can see, it's still fairly a little less than half. Um, but like I said, it's coming out great. I love it. I love the color. Um, and let me take you outside now so you can see what kind of stuff we got going on out here. My sister is still doing the... Uh, my sister is still doing the... The black stain or the ebony <laughs> all over her feet, her hands. She got some on her nose. All right, but she's been out here working hard. This is the ebony stain on uh, Brooklyn's bed, and she has been painting and staining all day since she woke up. And uh, she's got the, the ink on herself, the, the paint on herself. 
So she already did the top side. Okay. And now she's doing the bottom. I'm going to wipe some on this one. all right so i thank you all for watching this video like i said tune in to the next episode and we'll show you our progress on the dining room table also on my daughter brooklyn's pallet bed with the led light accents that we're going to build and a lot more thanks for watching